Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph with the Lafayette Sports Network and GoLeopards.com. Lafayette needs to get back on track, and they're going to do it right here at home at Fisher Stadium. We're going to talk today a little bit about pass protections and what we call seven-man protections, six-man protections, and then obviously no backs or five-man protections. Pass protection, very important. Lafayette does a pretty good job of that uh, when they're keeping seven-man in. We're going to talk about that right now. Seven-man protection means up front we have seven people to protect for seven people. Inside, you're going to see a Seahawk defense. Wagner's defense this week is going to be a 3-4. So up front, if we release the tight end, we're left with one, two, three, four, five, six. And if we run our play action pass, which allows us to get a little bit deeper routes, first and 10, great time to run that. We can turn out, turn out, turn out here. And we have a full seven man protection, one of the safest protections and allows you to get the ball down the field a little bit further. So seven man protection allows us to take seven guys on seven in the box. If we go to a six man protection and we basically take the fullback out of the game and we add in an extra wide receiver out here, then we basically have to dictate where we want to protect. If we want to protect the front side, again, what we have is a tight end releasing. We're releasing the back out of the backfield or our extra flanker right now. And then we have six to protect against seven. So a little bit different. This read right here has got to come from the running back out to the will or the outside linebacker. He'll pick him up. This is our unblocked player if we block it the same direction, here and here, big on big. So the quarterback has what we call a sight adjustment. If that man comes, he has to throw hot. Six-man protections can be run in different ways. They can turn the protection one way or you can turn it the other way. If we want to protect the weak side, we can set Ross Sherman or one of our running backs to the weak side. And then he can pick up that linebacker, and now we read hot off the front side linebacker. Six-man protections, uh, a lot of your five-step drops, your three-step drops, basically that is a protection that's used every time you're dropping back to pass and you're releasing four wide receivers. If we go to a five-man protection, basically that means we've now taken Ross and we put him out in trips with what we call a no-back set or empty backs. When we have that, all the onus falls on our quarterback. Now he has to read when they take a linebacker out of the box. He has to read all the hots, and he has to be prepared to get the ball out of his hands quickly. These are your three-step drops. This doesn't allow you to get receivers way down the field, but as Coach Devani put it, it puts a lot of onus on your wide receivers creating some separation and making a play. So the quarterbacks, linemen, wide receivers all have to be on the same page there's a reason the offensive linemen are the smartest guys on the field. Seven-man protections all the way to five-man protections. Lafayette's got to get it done this week against Wagner.